Hey YouTube, my name's Zub, and I've been playing Space Engineers lately, and I built a big 3D printer, and I want to show you, um, look at it. It's made of a giant wheel with welders underneath, and I'm going to print that strange shape there, that hook, just as a demonstration, really, because, um, I wanted to show off one thing. Usually you use, um, a projector and I have one it's right there in that little red area but um you can just build something on it too but I wanted to show you this part right here see even with a projector <clears throat> this type of thing won't do that cuz it'll only build available uh, it'll only build buildable blocks and um, by the, the, and the, that one's that one would be buildable because it's hooked to the floor. It has to hook to the floor first. And uh, by the time you get all this done, then this layer will be buildable. But none of this will because it won't be connected to the floor. So that's something to keep in mind. Like when you're 3D printing your stuff. Alright, say, say there was some weird overhang on your ship. You could come up and uh, do that. And then that piece would be printable. So you might have to make your designs with little, uh, basically, almost like, like if you pressed a piece of plastic and it had extra bits hanging off and you had to sand them down. Almost like that. But yeah, that, that one piece would make this piece printable. But anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run this giant thing look at it real close real quick see welders welders inside a shroud <clears throat> see the shroud keeps uh, keeps it from welding things ahead of itself like a welder will hang down like this and it will actually weld things up higher than the tip of the welder so if it welds something here and it's going this way, it's just going to slam into it and be retarded and waste three days of my life like it did. But if there's a shroud on it that keeps things from welding unless they're underneath it, then it can just scoot over the top of it. That's what that shroud is for. And yeah, look, it literally took me a full day to realize the shroud would work. I don't know, it just took me a minute. But it works. Um, the controls, figure them out. Yeah, if you, I don't know. They're rough, but they work. And you have to eyeball it. I really should move the chair over there somewhere. But, I mean, it's worked so far. Okay, I'm just gonna run it. It's probably gonna, uh... Eh, it's a little high. I was gonna say it's probably gonna slam into that, but it would be fine. I don't care. Let's see if it works. I might have to lower it down a little bit. Mm, did I turn it on? Yes, it did. Okay, pause the game. I may have to lower it down. Nope, it started working. Does it have materials in it? There, it's got materials somewhere, and it's working, all on its own. Also, whoa, oh, okay, it's, it, I thought it exploded, but um, it's on, it's on a rotor, and I haven't worked out how rotors, how to get them to break yet. So it does have a little bit of just, it keeps going like a little bit of flex. But I run it at about like 10% of one. Uh, whatever is that? <clears throat> Basically, 0.1 RPM is how fast I usually run it. It's slow, takes a while. Get down there already. You're down there now, ain't you? Because you slammed into it. Yeah. You do gotta be gentle with it. But not, not too gentle. But pretty gentle. Okay, 
So anyway, it printed that piece. If this were a um, projection instead of just a real actual blueprint, then it would have just swept straight over it and uh, it would have stopped here before I added this. Um, if that piece wasn't there and this hook piece was just free hanging, all of this would have been ignored until we went up to went up a layer and then it would have hit this piece and then these pieces next and this piece would have been left. So <clears throat> that's something to uh, keep in mind making these blueprints and junk because I, I don't think you can make a printer that will go around a corner like that even even a better printer than this one which this one's kind of ghetto but the normal printer is the wall of welders which I, I have one of those in the back that I'm working on I built this one like this I don't even know why I did it like this it does go backwards too I could sweep this one back and forth um, over the blueprint over and over again it has two identical sides well that one's a little damaged from whatever but yeah two identical sides mostly because um, balance and it has that to keep it from flapping its wings and flying away <clears throat> and yeah it, even at 30 art full full speed it doesn't seem to like get too unbalanced and try and leave eh, if you had it that fast and you and you microscopically clip the ship it would just disappear so don't run it that fast um, I'm about to say I guess this might be a little cheaper than a really big um, wall of welders because if you look at it it oh God, I hit something if you look at it it covers a big area so you could print a pretty big ship with this um, the headache of building it like that is probably <clears throat> probably more than you would want to bother with um, I'd say probably just build a wall of welders might cost you a little bit more but it would be easier and uh, you wouldn't have to dig a giant hole in the ground because that's where I keep my pistons I just dug in the ground planted a bomb blew it up and on the on the plus side it, it's really big like I mean the build area I'm gonna turn it off fully extended real quick it, it, it might explode it's it's caught on the ship so well I don't know we'll see how sturdy it is oh and I left it on yeah oops but yeah what I'm saying is you could build a really big ship for kind of cheap as far as the building the uh, machine that builds it eh, it's kind of cheap I mean, I don't know. There's there's some math involved there, cause let's say however many welders to build a giant square. This thing, this is is cheaper, but yeah. And uh, I mean, it'll cover that whole platform, and it'll cover way up to here. So I mean, I built that ship on it the other day. It it did take me like two hours. I'm gonna be honest. It takes a while. But it would have taken me more than two hours to build it by hand. My main my main deal is I hate ferrying parts back and forth. That's why I don't that's I don't like that. Um, <clears throat> and one more thing. These why am I walking so slow? These things they don't work. Like they're too big to be printed. Because technically these things are let's see let me see if I can get it to show the outline technically they're three high so the welder detects this third block and uh, hold on a different angle it detect anyway it builds them and it slams into them 
and uh, it just doesn't work. Because <laughs> I've tried it. it. It will build them sideways though. Like just, just tilt it. Because I put them on the side of the ship too. But yeah, and yes, the platform looks like crap. It's because um, this started off as a gantry crane looking thing. And that didn't work. I probably could have made it work, but I didn't. I decided to stop and make this, and I like this. It works. I don't know if I'd build it again. I'd probably just go for the regular old uh, whatever, you know, wall of welders. This one's actually for a small welder, small production line. That's a blueprint. It's not done. But you see here, I've got a small projector. You know, that, that whole deal. Yeah, you've seen that before probably. But I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show off my big wheelie death welder. Um, it might almost even be better as a grinder. Because you could fit odd shaped ships in it and stuff. You know, like... Like I'm imagining just a big junkyard underneath that. And every so often you just gently... Uh, maybe you automate the controls or something and it'll spin really slowly down like You know spin and then go down really slowly and it'll grind up stuff. That'd be cool anyway That's it for this video. Just Showing off that ugly piece of crap. I made uh, mm, Bye